tell you something. 80, bro. 87 pass accuracy? 87 pass accuracy for bailout on bronze is insane, bro. I don't know what that, bro. I don't know what I, I feel about that. I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. I'm not going to have it. I'm going to have my pass accuracy around 70 or so, and that's just going to be it. But, hey, it is what it is. Come on. We'll never lose. Good afternoon out there, 2K land. Make bro, y'all boys already know that that intro brought back so many memories. In honor of us being close to that 100K, we're going to be running that intro every single time time until we get it probably after we get it too we're gonna mix it up some too man but listen if y'all heard that intro and you've been around since the beginning y'all know what the next intro already is and we gonna say it right there if you realize if you've been here for the last 15 years with your boy say it with me yes so what's going on everybody it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's channel coming to you live with another video man check this out man before we get to do anything i want to say y'all absolutely killed it last night on the video and I, hey listen man it was it was just super dope to see everybody come together can we do that again man look number one i want i want to get that done again because look I explained what's going on and y'all responded, man. Just like y'all responded with the Nodi Gang Wall of Fame right here, man. Listen, hey, they say a shout out to Nodi Gang, man. I gotta do that, man. So y'all come through, put something down in the comment section. Hey, whoever's first, second, whatever it is, man. Hey, I got y'all, man. Y'all already know Nodi Gang Wall of Fame is gonna be making making the mainstay here. And also, like I said, hey, look, in the videos, this is how YouTube does. You can get a video up. If nobody, if I don't get like 200 likes within the first uh, 1,500 people that watch it, because it's going to go out to 1,500 people, y'all watch it, just hit the like button, and it's going to help us out tremendously. And y'all see that last video, it got almost 8,000 views, man. So if y'all want me to get there, you know, the only people that's, y'all the only people that can get me there, man. So I just want to say that to y'all, man. Y'all really made my day with that. But that, we, that ain't what we're here for today, man. What we're here for today is this stuff right here, bro. Like, hey, look. I want to clap for y'all. I started, we're going to start off with this because I wanted to clap for y'all. The, develop, the developers have been talking a lot and they've been tweeting and they've been telling us all the stuff and we're going to talk about everything and we're going to be talking about some stuff, bro. They gave us, uh, Mike Wong, he talked about a lot of things, but at the same time, Zach, the biggest thing is Zach Timmerman and Wolf. They put out all the requirements for all of the badges. We're going to go through all of that and everything, man. So make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Let's try to get it to 200 likes as soon as possible so we can have a repeat of last night. And without further ado, man, let we just go get right into what Mike said, bro. And Mike said this. I don't know why we got Morgan Freeman up there clapping like he ain't got no sense, but it is what it is. Clay Thompson's pro play jump shot will be receiving some minor changes to more accurately reflect his real life shot. Unfortunately, it didn't make it into a uh, make it. Um, it didn't make our lunch day bill cut off. So we'll be patched at, uh, will be patched uh, at a later date. Just a heads up in case you decide to use uh, use the jump shot for your my player. Hey, Mike, I appreciate that, man, because you're letting us know that things happen and they will change things. You know what I'm saying? Stuff gonna happen, man. Stuff change, man. Also, bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm super excited. I got this 3D printer. I made this cute little turtle, man, on that three. Let me let me get this. Bit. I made this cute little turtle on the 3D printer, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I've been having too much fun with the 3D printer, man. It's, it's so cool, crazy. It's like a rainbow color, so you can't really see it. But hey, anyway, back to the news, man. Uh, look. So Mike said that, Mike also came back and he said this, man. He said, uh, I should, uh, so somebody says, according to Belubo, with the pure green window, it is possible to hit any shot that is not 100% smothered. And he also, uh, Mike came back and he said, I should add that the window shrinks exponentially for lower rated slash badge players. So more or less what he's saying is, he said non-skilled players, non-skilled players this year. <laughs> Bro, why y'all always talking about balls like <laughs> the skill players this year? Also, uh, before we get to the other stuff, man, uh, Mike also, uh, a lot of people had a lot of concerns. So, because we kept seeing Giannis 
killing people. I mean, he was just going straight there, putting people in the rim. Like, like, like he was like, like looking like me out there, man, putting people in the rim. But Mike Way said, hey, listen, don't fret my pet. A lot of people was using Giannis. A lot of people was getting crazy with Giannis. And this is what Mike says. Mike says, uh, Giannis, actually, Giannis was accidentally assigned Lillard's dribble style in the community day bill. Uh, this will be fixed at lunch. So you're not gonna be seeing him zoom, zoom and run. He probably will still be running through people, but he just won't be zoom, zooming like that. And he said, get this blowout. Somebody said, get this blowout dribble out of the game. Uh, it'll turn the speed glitch. It'll turn to the speed glitch all over, or at least height gap, height gap it at uh, six, four and under and only, um, only usable in the backcourt or something like that. The blowout dribble, bro, he literally throws the ball out there in front of him. Um, let's 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 go to the big screen on it real quick. So we're gonna switch to the big yeah, screen. Yeah, let's that time either. Make it bigger. Boom, so you're gonna see it like the blowout dribble. I feel like it's really dangerous because when you're throwing that ball out in front of you, like like we said, like Will Avery, he does it just like I was saying Will Avery used to do, to go down that court. But when, you, when you're doing that, man, it looks kind of dangerous. I don't think that's something that you want to do um, all the time or what have you. And he didn't lose any adrenaline. He did lose one in the front. In the, he didn't lose one in the back court, but he did lose it in the front court. But I'm just like, bro, we hadn't even gone against it. Uh, and plus, they're going against the computer on like extra rookie, bro. So I don't think that this stuff is going to be as hard to stop as you as you would think. And also, like he said, it did have, he did have Damian Lillard's dribble style, so it is what it is. Also, uh, Mike says also one one note on the shot and layup dunk, uh, dunk meter green. They constantly fluctuate over the course of the shot. Based on the defender's evaluate, uh, the, uh, the defender, the defensive evaluation. So it might look like you're stopping, you're stopping the bar in the green, but the window shrinks uh, the window shrinks a frame later and you miss just a heads up. So a lot of times, like we saying, like we seeing Giannis go to the rim, they saying they playing on Hall of Fame. I'm thinking people playing on extra rookie, man. That's just what I'm thinking. But, and 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 anything to make them look better and the video look better. I don't think that you're finishing over people like that playing on Hoff, but hey, some people might be that good, but they hitting, I mean, like they hitting greens and all that stuff, bro. It is what it is, but they also using the biggest, best, fastest player in the game going against some some little guys and stuff so that might be anyway on to what we came here to talk about man these uh these badge joints and uh you know pretty much we just gonna go through all of these trying to see if i can maybe i need to move it over there we go okay now y'all can see it now you can't see it but you can i'm just gonna talk about them real quick these are the requirements and stuff like that and uh so we got brick wall uh, brick wall is, you know, just, just normal stuff, man. You got to have strength of brick wall, 90 strength. Anchor, you got to have interior defense. Um, you got to have interior defense, and you also have to have a uh, block. So you got to have, if you want to have anchor, a uh, high anchor, 77 interior, 92 block. I don't even think that's unreasonable. Chase down artist, this might be unreasonable. You got to have like an 87 block to get it on goal. Uh, 66 speed, yep, you do got to have speed, and you got to have, let's see, uh, 80 vertical? An uh, 80 vertical for, for Chase? Hey, I ain't even mad at it though, man. So a lot of this stuff, if you want to have these things, they, they they did, it looks like they they shrunk them down. So, because in some cases you could be very OP. Post lockdown, you gotta have a uh, decent interior, so it gotta be at least 88. I'll probably try to have that one on silver, so I don't even know how much strength you can get. That's what I really wanna know. What is strength limited by? Because in the past, like if you're a guard, or if you were like a small forward or something, like your strength only went up to like 50s, only only fours and fives could get like that 70, 80 strength or whatever, and I could be wrong. It could just be because of your size and weight, but I wonder what the limiting factor is gonna be on that. Post lockdown, we already said, ankle braces is perimeter defense, uh, challenger, it's gonna be your perimeter defense. 87 is gonna, gonna be that sweet pot. I'll have it on Hoff, but you gotta have 94 to have it on Hoff. Uh, clamps is based on perimeter defense and strength. So no more of that just putting your perimeter defense up and then you got clamps. You got to have strength just to get it. So even if strength doesn't matter, you still have to have strength in order to even get the badge. You can't even get the badge without strength. So, so no more of that. Y'all gonna have to put that strength up. Fast feet is a uh, perimeter defense and acceleration. You got to turn the acceleration up. So you you probably gonna want somebody that's got an 82 acceleration so you can get the fast feet on off. Uh, off ball pest is is gonna be the next one. That's probably gonna be perimeter defense. Yep, that's gonna be perimeter defense. Pick jobs perimeter defense. Glove is gonna be steel. Uh, 99 to get it on off. Interceptor 95 to get that on off. Uh, that's all you gotta have is steel for that. Eight uh, right stick ripper. 
uh, you know, it's just got, you still got to be up on 96 or so. A immovable force. So I already know that my lock gonna be more than 6'5", six, 6'5", five, six, five or more, because you gotta have, you gotta have that with people, the way that you're seeing people get bulldozed and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it up to 90 strength. Hopefully we'll be able to get it on silver or something. Uh, 94 feet, you're gonna have to have stamina at 99 or so. And we put our stamina normally at 95, so we probably gonna have it on go. But, uh, and, and also a very high perimeter defense. Pogo stick, you're gonna have to have vertical and either block or offensive and defensive rebound. I plan to get mine up to 99, even on my guard, because I, I, I just want to be a dog this year. Stamina uh, is, is what you need. Stamina and interior defense or perimeter defense for workhorse, so that's a good uh, thing. Box out beast, you're gonna have to have strength and either and either high offensive and high, a high defensive rebound. So I'm gonna be, I have that rebound chaser. You're just gonna have to have a high offensive and defensive rebound. Again, I plan to have mine on 99, even though on my lock. So that's what we gonna, that's what we gonna try to go with. Next, we got, we got the passing stuff. Bro, let me tell you something. 80, bro. 87 pass accuracy. 87 pass accuracy for bailout on bronze is insane bro i don't know what that bro i don't know what I, how i feel about that i gonna tell you how i feel about it. i'm not gonna have it i'm gonna have my pass accuracy around 70 or so and that's just gonna be it but hey it is what it is bro 87 so and you gotta have 99 for hall of fame hey say goodbye say goodbye to bail out for a lot of people. That's all I can tell y'all, man. Break starter. Break starter is uh is gonna be pass accuracy. We don't care. We just launched that joint anyway. We don't care. Dimer pass accuracy gotta be up there. Uh 72, 70, 73. That's probably what I'm gonna have mine on. Gold is gonna be 89 or what have you. That's how it's being. Needle threader, uh, post playmaker, you know, that's all pass accuracy. Um uh, relay, relay passer. You gotta have 76 just for silver. I'm probably not gonna have that. Uh special delivery. I want that. The G Dep badge, you're gonna have to have 75 pass accuracy. So they have raised it. So you're not just gonna, gonna come out here and men max things and think that you're gonna have these bad badges. Even touch pass, you gotta have 74 just to have it on bronze. So I think my my pass accuracy is gonna be like 75, 76 this year. Cause I wanna have uh a higher relay passer, but I also want to have that touch pass. I at least want to unlock that ball handling. Hey, you got ankle breaker. You're gonna have to have uh, to get it on goal 85, Hoff 93. Uh, big driver. You're gonna have to be. You're gonna have to have at least 69 ball handling. Speed with ball got to be 65, and then acceleration got to be 60. They say you got to be at least 16 though. So Gambit, you're gonna be able to get that big driver, my dog. Uh, blow bys. You're gonna have to be under 611 so gambit probably gonna max 611 so he might gambit might be able to get that he might make 16 and 611 so he'll be able to do that you just got to have some decent ball handling speed with ball and acceleration which we always put those things up i don't know about the speed with ball but hey it is what it is handles for days uh you know stamina and ball handling hyperdrive you gotta have speed with ball and speed so i'm not mad at that uh killer combos is just ball handling physical uh but physical handles, you gotta have ball handling and strength. I'm hoping that's just gonna be something to be able to keep people off you and you can keep dribbling and all of that good stuff. Speed boost, you know, ball, ball handling, speed with ball and uh, and acceleration and speed. So you, like I said, you, you're gonna have access to anything that, that your badges allow you to have I mean, your attributes allow you to have, but it's gonna be, it's not gonna be as crazy as people think it's gonna be unpluckable. Uh, you're gonna have to have either high post control or 70 ball handling. I probably have 70 ball handling if it, if it allows me to. Hey, up next, we got, <clears throat> we got the shooting stuff. Hey, mini magician, obviously mid range. Agent threes is, is your three pointer, obviously. Uh, Claymore is obviously just gonna be your three point shot. I have that, it's, I, I'm, mine gonna be 85, so. Uh, I'll have it on gold. I'm not gonna have none of these gold, these Hoff badges, man, because even corner specialist, 85 is where I'll be on that limitless range. I'm only gonna have that on bronze because, because you know, hey, 92 three-point shot for limitless range on silver is insane. Blinders, you gotta have 70 mid-range shot at least or a 73-point shot. I'll probably have that on uh, bronze. It look, I mean, silver, it looks like. Catch and shoot is your mid-range and your th or your three-pointer. Comeback kid, that's just your three-pointer mid-range. Dead eyes, your three-pointer or your mid-range. That's dope. Well, hey, it's cool. I got links to all this down in the description too. Green machine, three-pointer, dead eye guard up is your three-pointer or your or, or your uh or your mid-range. 
an open looks. This is what I'm really interested in. 86 for gold open looks. So I'm gonna have to try to find a way to get my guy to an 86 uh, or, or an 88 three. Bro, what? So, hey, I'm gonna have open looks on silver then, bro. I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to an 88 three ball. I will try just for the sake of some of these badges, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. And they have cleverly put these gates in here because they know people are gonna try to me and max it. I can't get mad. Uh, Space Creator, under 611, 611 and under. Gotta have an 88 three ball, a 87 three ball, 88 mid range. Can't get mad at it. Spot finder, this is what I'm really, uh, really wanting to know about. Acceleration gotta be 93, so I'm not gonna have, I might have like 80 acceleration. Uh, close shot or your mid-range shot got to be 79 or your three got to be 86. So it looks like 80, 86 three ball going to be the sweet spot this year. Uh, three points, you're going to have to have, I'm going to have it on bronze. I'm going to have like a 70, what's called it? So that's all I'm going to have. Last but not least, slippery off ball. It's just about acceleration. And then the last one that Zach talked about is the inside scoring stuff. And a lot of this is driving layup. So you got acrobat is driving layup. Fearless finisher is is uh strength so you gotta have strength for fearless finisher so strength is gonna matter even if strength doesn't matter or doesn't play into the game you're not gonna be able to get some of these badges without it so i mean that'll be cool floor what's that float game you gotta have driving layup giant slayer you gotta have shot close or you gotta have driving layup that's cool master you're gonna have to have uh shot close uh pro touch you gotta have close shot or driving layup one of those two scooper you're gonna have to have your driving layup up Posterize, you're gonna have to have your dunk and your vertical up. So that's not gonna be bad. That's normal. Uh precision dunker, dunk and your stand dunk or your standing dunk gotta be up. Rise up, Falcons rise up, standing dunk and your vertical gotta be up. Uh aerial powers, you gotta have uh vertical and your driving dunk or or your driving layup gotta be up or your standing. So hey, you'll be cool on that. Bunnies, that's the new badge right there. Driving layup and or driving dunk. So you gotta have one of those two. Hey, fast twitch you gotta have close shot or you gotta have your standing dunk uh close shot or standing dunk slithery that dang on slithery finisher hey i have my dunking gonna be like 86 this year so so that's gonna be um you know i have it on silver uh spin cycle gotta have your driving dunk or your driving layup up uh two step a two step a two step posterizer what you gotta have your 86 for silver that's all you can get 93 for gold dang all right, so that's cool. Uh, spin cycle, what do we say? Two step, you gotta have your driving layup or your driving dunk up. Uh, bulldozer, you gotta have strength. That's it. You just gotta have strength. And we know who gets strength to those big guys. So, hey, big guys are gonna have on the perimeter are gonna be crazy because if that guard drops, he probably gonna get run through, bro. It's gonna be crazy. Whistle, you gotta have your close shot or your driving layup or your driving dunk or your mid range shot or your three points. So you can get whistles just, just by getting it. Also, that 86 is the magic number again right there. Back down, Punisher, you gotta have your post control and your strength up. Uh, yeah, post control and strength. Dream shake, post control, and or, and either close shot or mid range. Drops, here come the drop step, uh, murderer. Hey, you gotta have, for drop step, you gotta have uh, post control, uh, what's that? Post spin technician, post control, hook specialist is gonna be uh, close shot and post control. And last but not least, what does this say, bro? I can't even read that, bro. Post fade phenol. You're gonna have to have your post, uh, your post control and either your shot close or your mid range up. So like I said, man, it looks like they have gone through here and they know, they knew that everybody's gonna be like, if you try to make a really well-rounded bill, you could conceivably get mostly all the badges. Hey, it's, it's going to be, you're gonna have to have a certain play style this year. It's either gonna be with the big, uh, either a big play style, slashers can stand out, or you're gonna have to be that little guard, man. So it's gonna be cool, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Make sure y'all like the video if you made it this far. Um, and let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like the video. We try to get to 200 likes as soon as possible. And uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.